Welcome, welcome, welcome to Mr. Tony's Hip Hop School. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Come on and join in with me. Um, I have to acknowledge all these people who contributed, brought out, had a lot to do with the music that I love so much and always did ever since the 70s. That we call it hip hop. And I kind of um, knew a lot about this dude, Russell Simmons. Gotta, gotta give him, gotta, I gotta give him props. Def Jam is a label that had a lot of artists on it that I liked. I liked a lot of artists on those smaller independent labels too, like Wild Pitch, Profile, uh, Raucous. Um, sleeping bag. Okay, I remember those. I, re I remember those. But I mean, Def Jam had a whole lot of people that I like, and and Russell Simmons, of course, with Rick Rubin. But Rick Rubin, he broke apart. He broke apart from them, I think, in '96. And um, but Russell had a lot to do with the company in the beginning because he had a, he had a few artists like like just like in the movie Crush Groove the Crush Groove Crush Groove was about uh how Def Jam got started that's really what the movie was about I mean he had uh Run DMC the Fat Boys Curtis Blow Houdini um LL Cool J he had a few other, oh, and the Beastie Boys. Wow, my memory's working today. So, um, I mean, Def Jam grew, and then it like had a slew of people on it, you know what I mean? And um, what I liked about him, he didn't want to, you know, go out here, because I know he was like a, um, a record, he was like a record promoter. He was like a music promoter back in the day. And he did parties. So, um, like I told you, I like to read. I mean, I don't read all the time, but if it's something that I'm interested in, I like to read. So, back even back then, I used to read. I used to read a little bit about him, and I remember them saying that he was. He used to do these parties in New York, and um. But then he just started his own record label with, with Rick Rubin. And shit, I'm glad he did. And um, that's the beauty of that entrepreneurial spirit because if, if people ain't going to do what, you, what you're trying to do, then just start your own shit. Anyway, I don't want to get into that because that's going to go down a political road that I don't want to go down. But... He had a lot to do with a lot of this hip hop that we love from the golden era. All those, all those groups that I just named, I loved. You know, I loved the Fat Boys, loved Run DMC, loved Curtis Blow, Houdini, L. Well, LL. I never, I was, I wasn't a huge LL fan, but I was a fan. Let's just put it that way. LL Cool J. Um, I, I like LL when he first came out. I like LL with I Need a Beat, Rock the Bells, you know, Mama Said Knock You Out, Jingling Baby. That's my favorite song that LL made. Jingling Baby, that's my favorite that's my favorite song. But then I think after um after he did Pink Cookies in a ba a plastic bag. So that was like 93. So after that, I wasn't really into him no more cuz he was too he was trying to be too smooth after that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, nah, I'm cool. He was trying to make all that smooth stuff. You know what I mean? So but I still like LL. LL is LL is one of the greatest of all time. Um, Russell Simmons 
created this 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 uh, record company, Def Jam. I mean, Def Jam had so many people on it. Like Red Man, I remember I watched something with Red Man, and he was talking about how he he got taken off of uh, Def Jam, and he was like really hurt. Like almost sound like he wanted to get back on the on the label. <laughs> so, um, I mean, people should be bowing down to him. Russell Simmons. Uh, hold up, hold up. I wanted to name all the people that was on Def Jam because I just can't think of all of them. There was so many of them. Um, I really don't want to miss too many people. But I remember watching something about uh, Red Man. He was talking about, he was like, you could tell he was hurt, man. He was like, yo. He was talking about the heyday of Def Jam and how it started declining and how he wanted, you know, you could see in his face, like he really wanted to, he really missed being on that label, you know, but, um, man, let me name this list, Emil, Ashanti, I'm gonna name like the more popular people, the Beastie Boys, Beanie Siegel, damn, Big Boy was on Def Jam, Big Boy from Outkast. BG Knockout, um, Boss, I'm assuming that's Boss from LA, the one that made uh, Deeper, the hip hop joint from like in the 90s, uh, Joe Button, Cameron, Capone, Mariah Carey, Charlie Baltimore, Chingy, um, Davy DMX, he's old school. That's that's going way back. That's in the eighties. Um, Death Squad, The Diplomats, DJ Clue, DMX, Drew Hill, EPMD, Eric Summer when he, by himself. You know he's a member. You know he's part of EPMD. Funkmaster Flex. Foxy Brown. Look at all these artists, man. Ghostface Killer. And I'm not naming everybody. I'm just naming the more notable old school artists. Daggone Osley Brothers was on Def Jam. Ain't that something? Def Soul. Ja Rule. Jay-Z. Jazzy J. Orange Juice Jones. Y'all remember who Orange Juice Jones was? I saw you. Walking in the rain. Damn, that sounded pretty good. Montel Jordan, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber was on Def Jam. Patti LaBelle. Whoa. She was on Def Soul, baby. I already said um, LL. I heard a Lady Luck. I heard that name before. MOP, MC Search. Um... Memphis Bleak, Method Man, Method Man and Red Man, Keith Murray, Music, you know, Music Soul Child, Nori, Neo, Onyx, Original Concept, Original Concept, they had songs out in the early 90s, The Big Dr. Dre, he was with them, Public Enemy, um, Kelly Price, y'all know who Kelly Price is. Petey Crack. Then you got Red Man. Rick Ross. Rihanna. Shine. Cisco. Slick Rick. Jimmy Spicer. He was a rapper from back in the uh, early 80s. Late 70s, early 80s. Tila Rock. Um, Uncle Murder. That's Murder Moot. He's like a battle rapper. Warren G. Allison Williams. Woo! I remember her. Young Guns. Third Base. Man. Yo, man. 
A lot of them are Hall of Famers. Hall of Fame, Hip Hop Hall of Famers. And I didn't even name everybody. I, a lot of them I didn't name because they wasn't um, old school. Hey, Russell. Hey, Russell. Hey, Mr. Simmons. I got to call him Mr. Simmons. Fuck that. Plus, he's much older than me. Russell Simmons like 13 years older than me. So, Russell Simmons got to be like 64, 65 years old. So, Mr. Simmons, I'm giving you your flowers now, sir. Thank you. First of all, any entrepreneur, it takes heart to do that. It takes heart to go against the grain and get out the lane that everybody's going down. You get out that lane and go into this other lane. There's only like two car, two to five cars on it. This lane is the lane where it's like millions of people going that way. Where this lane is five, five or six people. And you took that road, especially being a man of color, and said, you know what? I'm going to form my own shit. So hats off to you, sir. I appreciate it. If you like this video, subscribe. Share it. Like it. There's more to come. Mr. Tony's Hip Hop School. Peace.